Good morning. We will take a new chapter. It's chapter 10. And it's all about how to represent data. Okay, we have types of graphs or charts to represent data. Okay, what's data? Data is another word for information. To represent data, we are going to show information using pictures or samples. Okay, we will start today with the first type of graph, which is picture graph. Okay, what's picture graph? It's a way to represent data by using pictures and symbols and we also compare the data. So we use picture graph to show and compare data information. There is another important thing in our picture graph which is the key. What is the key? The key is the part of the graph that explains the symbols or pictures it tells us what they mean okay so let's go to our book and solve our exercise to know how we will use this picture graph so open page 576 children at the playground this is our picture graph Picture graph uses pictures to show information. I have some children playing swings. I have some children playing slide. And this is our key. Each stands for one child. Okay. There are how many children on the swings? They are four. We can count it easy. One, two, three, and four. There are how many children on the slide? One and two. So here we represent the information. Let's compare. There are more children on the, let's see, one, two, three, four, the swings, and one, two on the slide. So swings. There are more children on the swings. Okay, let's go to the next exercise. Our favorite activity at the fair. This is the key. Each stick man stands for one child. Animals have one, two, three, four, five children and rides one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Which activity did more children choose? Circle. Okay, as we see from our picture graph, the rides has more, yes, children. Okay, how many children choose the animals? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, so five, and we can count it easy. How many children choose the rides? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven children. It's easy also to count. Let's compare how many fewer children choose the animals than the rides. Okay, let's have a look here. Yes, there is two here. So two fewer, two fewer children. Our last exercise. What we drink for lunch. Okay, we have here milk juice and water fine let's have a look to our key each stick man stands for one child use the picture graph to answer the question how many children drink milk one two three four five six seven and eight so eight children how many children in all drink the juice and the water, let's count them all. 
one two three four five six seven and eight so eight and we can also write it as an addition number sentence three plus five equals eight how many fewer children drink water than milk one two three four five six seven and eight for the milk and one two three four five for the water okay as we see from our picture graph i don't have these in water so they are three fewer children okay we can do it as a subtraction number sentence eight minus five yes so eight minus five equals three how many more children drink milk than juice this is the milk this is the juice and these are empty here so how many more here let's count one two three four five so five more children number nine how many children in all drink milk juice and water so we will count them all here we will count them all i have here eight and three yes and one two three four and five so another addition number sentence eight plus three plus five equals 16 so 16 children the last one four new children join the class they drink juice at lunch now how many more children drink juice than water so we will go to the juice and we will draw the four more children so this is one this is two this is three and this is four new four more children now the question how many more children drink juice than water okay let's go this is the juice and this is the water and i have here two empty so two more children yes two more children drink juice than water so here also we can compare by using picture graph okay thank you for today and i hope that you understood what i said so do your homework and have fun